Hello everyone, Gilly here. Welcome to another year of Advent of Code. Um, this year I don't know if I'm going to have time to make videos for all the problems. I do know that I'm going to try to solve all the problems. Um, and I'm also not going to do it in a different language every day like I did last year. Um, but anyways, with that being said, hopefully you enjoy this year. If you code along, I hope you have a good time, as I'm sure I will. Um, so last night's problem, or today's problem, day one... I'm just going to solve both parts here because it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, basically, what we're given is we're given a bunch of numbers, and we're told that we need to find the fuel um, of the number. The number is a mass number. Um, so basically, to find the mass, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to take the mass, to find the fuel, we take the mass, divide it by 3, round down, and subtract 2. And then in the end, we want to know the sum of all the fuels. So that's pretty straightforward. So I solved this problem in Haskell. Um, and what I did was I you know, copied the input. Uh, day one. So typically what I'll do is I'll make a new value, bind a name, which is gonna be a list of int. And this is gonna be our input. This is gonna be the puzzle. And there's only a hundred or so values. It's not really that many. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll kind of format it to be a Haskell value just by replacing the new lines with common new lines. Oops. There we go. We got to get rid of the last one in Haskell. It's not lenient about that. So basically we have to find the fuel of a mass. And basically they said the fuel is going to be the mass divided by 3. Where is that? The mass divided by 3. Oops, I scrolled too far down. Mass divided by 3, round down, subtract 2. Okay. So mass div 3. Since we're doing integer division here, that will automatically round down for us. Divided by 2. And then the actual puzzle is looking for the sum of all of these masses. So we should be able to print the sum of map fuel over input. Let's go ahead and run this, see how we did. Okay, that's the correct number, as you can see here. So then part two is a little trickier. Basically, it's saying that the elves put in place a check that um, masses actually can't go below zero, for one thing. And... They can't go negative. And the actual mass that we need is the fuel of the mass and the fuel of the fuel and the fuel of the fuel of the fuel and so on and so forth. So this is this is a really nice problem for recursion. So that's how we're going to solve it. So part two, we're going to use a little bit of recursion. So we're just going to say um, let f equal that. So our next fuel will be that in. And then we just have to say, if f is less than zero, then we're gonna return back zero. The problem states that we can't go below zero, we can't have a negative number. Otherwise, we're just going to return back the fuel plus the fuel of the fuel. So we're just going to keep recursing here. Of course, a loop would do just as fine to solve this. So let's go ahead and let's run it. Okay, we get back that number, which is the 709. That's the correct number. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a good advent of code this year.